What are some signs of someone with an inflated ego? Actually, this is a really good question. From my experience, I have noticed these signs. Too much is never enough for them. They dislike when others succeed, constantly comparing themselves, craving respect and recognition, always being defensive. Dut, I don't know if I can think of more, but whatever, they are pretty easy to recognize. Let me tell you something. I have the best ego, only the best, you know it's the best, but the fake news wants to say it's not, but I know I have the best ego, many people told me I have the best ego, but you'll never hear it from them, that was hard to write. They talk down to people working minimum wage jobs, it's really bad feeling, when I was growing up as a kid, I have seen my dad go through a lot of it, he even cried sometimes. Man it always hits me in my guts, the amount of sacrifice my dad made for me, wish to repay him in 100 folds. Constant one-upping, trying to brag about completely irrelevant shit, for example, number of family members, downgrading your experiences when you try to voice an opinion, keywords, but, although, in my emphasis experience, these during when you are presenting an opinion, Weaving intricate stories that sound made up to prove how they possess a certain tray. Those are big red flags for me. One I've learned about recently is the subtle ego of having no ego. So like the feeling that you're so zen, unattached and above petty squabbles of the unenlightened. I suppose that could also logically extend to the even subtler ego of not having that subtle ego. But I think ideally you reshape your thought patterns so you don't fall into that endless loop. They think their perspective outweighs yours on every single issue. This was a serious issue with someone I was trying to date. I knew she was confident, but I didn't realize she was an egomaniac until this sort of thing cropped up. I remember at one point I accidentally explained something she already knew after she asked a rhetorical question over text message. Obviously, I can't judge tone perfectly over text, and it was some simple question that only took me a minute or two to explain. So I did, she was pissed, and snapped at me for daring to assume she wasn't all knowing already. I gave both of us some space to calm down, then went to her and explained my side of it, that I was sorry, I couldn't judge her tone over text, didn't mean any offense, and only wanted to help. Her response was to completely disregard that, because her perspective was that I had clearly just assumed she was stupid and tried to swoop in and coddle her, and she openly admitted that her own perception of the situation was all that she cared about anyway. We never ended up dating, funnily enough. An ability to take constructive criticism. Are you implying I have a big ego? Don't say these things, I don't tell you how to live your life. They'll give their opinion on something or interrupt a noticeably higher than average amount of the time. There's also something I've noticed where they think their facts are 100% truth even when they've just come up with it or just put it together from gossip. They tell a lot of stories, specifically of the sort that highlight either the time they were a hero in a situation or otherwise dwell on the perceived incompetence of others. Not saying all storytelling is bad or whatever. Just that people with inflated ego tend to default to storytelling whenever and wherever possible. False modesty that's actually meant to ingratiate himself to others. Claiming to be smart. Except immediately after winning a test of mental skill. Like a chess game or jeopardy. Just listen to them. You can always figure out how self-centered they are by the amount of times they use me. I. I'm. Etc. Try tell them something that happened to you. Do they somehow make it about themselves? Express the slightest difference in opinion. Do they squirm and argue aggressively without facts or anything to back it up? It doesn't take much to see it. They say nice things about themselves all the time and like. Things you shouldn't say about yourself. For example, my aunt likes to say how empathetic and intuitive she is. And the way that she says it, you can tell she feels superior drives me crazy. Mention something about not them and count the amount of words it takes for them to mention themselves. Works with narcissists too. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I'll never understand. Climate change. Shootings almost daily. Two soldiers blown away in Afghanistan. 
homeless veterans, thousands of Americans laid off, over $120 million wasted playing golf at taxpayer expense. And what do you do? You tweet about yourself all day and night. Potters45 Always tries to one up your stories or experiences. I've never been a social butterfly and have a hard time relating to most people. When someone is telling a story and I have something I see as relatable I'll usually tell my story. Now I'm worried that this is how I come across. Whoops. Constantly brings themselves up compares themselves to whatever you're talking about thinks whatever you're talking about is about them. Literally just today in Spanish class we were reading a sample project where you had to describe a person and this one kid thought the sample prompt was describing him when it had been written a long time ago. Nice try though haha. If the person is outwardly arrogant, bragging, boasting, and very defensive nature, then the person is struggling with ego. It is a sign of lack of self-confidence. Such person will tear others down to build himself up. We need wisdom to know our capabilities and limitations. We act confidently based on what we know, even if it means taking a stand. We should also consider that we may be wrong, to listen to evidence, and to change our mind. This is a rare combination of courage and intellectual humility, which leads to actively open-minded thinking. Oh yeah, I got this job because I'm a workhorse. I get things done. The same guy is also very best friend. And I'm sure everyone is just sick of him by now. That they can't possibly be wrong. They are the gold standard by which everyone else is measured. Has lots of mirrors. Must win the argument at any cost. Think they are the hype. Haunted by Ghost Napper. Pivots any conversation to a story about themselves that makes them sound smart, interesting, or worldly. I was in Peru a few years ago, and our local guide kept doing this. We'd be talking about what to pack for the Inca trail, and he was all like I have been a guide on the trail for 12 years, and I can tell you it's deadly to start off without a 4 day supply of, blah, blah, insufferable. From my experience, they always try to one up you, for example, they'd hear you tell an awesome story or show off something you've been working on and try to make it about themselves and what they've achieved without letting people compliment you, all the time. Some people might also say that they told you something smart or funny that you said. If someone told a group of friends a riddle, they'd say hey, I told you that before, or I made that riddle up. Even if you got it from the internet or made it up yourself, even happens with jokes or stories. Pretty much trying to make things about them a lot or if someone is better at them at something they would try to put that person down and say it's a start or not bad for a beginner no matter how long you've spent on it. How good it is or how long you've been practicing that skill. They make things bigger than they actually are. Get more people involved with their drama and constantly talk about it. Make a huge deal out of something tiny. They take conflict to the extreme. They can't just have a disagreement with someone. They have to get back at them, tarnish that person's reputation, and brag about doing so. There's a difference between having an ego, and having an ego problem. Having an ego because you're the best at something is acceptable. Let's say you're the best brain surgeon in the world, or the number one tennis player in the world. Having an ego about that is not a problem. An ego problem is when you're not the best, but you act as if. The golf pro at your local country club who played a few rounds professionally but struts around like he's the best player ever? That's an ego problem. Constantly talks about themselves. You see it a lot in reddit comments where the thread is about some horrific event or the OP made a thread pouring their heart out. Then along comes a comment about some personal story that user has. It's vaguely related to the original post but has thousands of upvotes and completely derails the entire thread. They think they can possibly be better than me at something. Wait. Hold up. I've been thinking that I have big ego. I always think of how I would look if I do this. And if I do that I can get them to think that I blah blah blah. It's like I've been waiting for that one moment to tell my amazing story and show off. It's weird to tell but. I constantly think of showing off that I am in greater pain than others. I wanna say that I hate myself for it. But that seems like I am just showing off my pain too. 
I've been having trouble talking about this. Thinking that my friends won't believe me or will never be the same to me. Even writing this gives me that feeling. I've been concealing this feeling of mine. Knowing that it's so weird. Unrelatable and hard to explain. I tried a lot to not give away my showing off my pain but it always shows off when I get the opportunity. But I'm hoping sharing this will make ego go away sooner. B. So anyways as a big ego person. We're way too edgy. We don't wanna reveal our ego because we want reputation. We think that you're just exaggerating even though we are the one exaggerating. We reveal a lot of our backstory so fast at early friendship relationship. Thanks for reading you. Oh. If they are a doctor and you don't know it and call them mister, they correct you. We'll never admit fault. We'll never admit that they're wrong. We'll usually talk over everyone or be whiny if not the center of attention. He issues orders directives to others over whom s he has no authority, offers unsolicited advice, and assumes s he is in charge by virtue of simply being present. They constantly bring up that they use reddit. God of it. There are many signs. They can tell jokes at someone else's expense but can't take it themselves. They can't stand it if their significant other is more successful than them. That's just toxic. They lie frequently about their own success. They can't admit they were ever wrong about something. Or they just try to get out of apologizing properly. They set other people up to fail. They treat anyone they deem below them in rank like trash. They use phrases like I'm sorry you feel that way. This is not an apology. You're just putting the blame on the person you should apologize to. Best comment of the day. If you think you're immortal then you've been watching too many superhero movies. But there is nothing wrong in not letting anyone put you down. And why would you let somebody put you down? Question so would you let somebody put you down? Because I know I wouldn't. Most of that one, apart from thinking you're immortal, has nothing to do with an ego whatsoever.